Okay, hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to make a little uh, ball droid using uh, operations like booleans. So we're gonna learn booleans today and also the knife tools. So the knife tools are quite interesting. Okay, firstly I'm just gonna go here and uh, add a sphere from simple brush, drag it out, hit edit and make polymesh 3D as always so we can start uh, working and I'm just gonna change the material to basic material so uh, we don't have that red material. Okay, uh, firstly uh, I'm just going to make the hole of the droid. So we, we need to make a precise hole uh, where the uh, little light will be. So I'm just gonna go to subtool And I'll first show you how boolean works, then we'll uh, just start making the ball. Okay, firstly, let's say I'm just gonna go to append and add a cylinder. Uh, I'm gonna go to the side view, take the cylinder, move it up front and rotate it 90 degrees by holding shift and rotating. So something like this. I'm gonna scale it down and move it into place, like so. Okay, now we need this cylinder to um, subtract from the sphere. Uh, we're gonna do that, like I said, with booleans. So, uh, how uh, do we use booleans? So, booleans, basically we have adding or adding a, a one mesh to another, subtracting or uh, subtracting, let's say, this cylinder from the sphere and um, the third option is intersection or where the two meet, it will uh, be the finalized mesh or the final result. Okay, um, uh, uh, where, uh, let's see where they're located. So on the right side in the subtool menu, as you can see next to the subtool, so right, um, right of the little photo of the subtool, uh, there is three circles. Or three pictures of circles so the first one is uh, adding so uh, the first one is uh, unity that uh, means that this uh, cylinder and this sphere will uh, be one mesh uh, combined with geometry um, if we select that there is nothing really we can see or do it the, uh, this will be the final product now I'm gonna go to the next one subtract and as you can see, there is still nothing happening right uh, right away. That's because we haven't activated live boolean. So live boolean is a button that we activate so we can use booleans. And it's located on uh, the upper left corner uh, on this big button. I'm just going to click it. And as you can see, now the um, cylinder is uh, subtracting from the sphere. Uh, the word live boolean means that this uh, cylinder is not yet accepted with uh, the transformation and we can still move it around and scale it. I'm gonna go hit the W key for uh, the move tool and just go up it down like so. And as you can see, we can scale it, move it around, go uh, deeper or go um, a little bit out. Um, this is the uh, subtract uh, or uh, the subtract function and the unite function or the in, uh, intersection function would look something like this. So this is the intersection between the both and this will be the final boolean mesh. Again that is the third button here. I'm gonna go to um, uh, this, uh, this one for now and um, as you can see on the um, on the picture, the um, uh, the little droid has a little uh, taper to its uh, hole. So we're uh, gonna do that. I'm gonna delete this cylinder from for now, and I'm gonna go here to simple brush, click it, and a little window will appear with uh, Do we want to switch or uh, don't switch to edit transform mode? I'm gonna hit switch. And now I'm going to hit Control N for a new scene. So don't worry, the sphere we made is here, uh, but we're going to uh, make a little tapered uh, cylinder. So I'm just going to go to the simple brush, click cylinder, drag it out, and just click edit without clicking make polymer 3D. 
Now on the right side, I'm going to go to initialize. So this panel here only works if um, make uh, polymer 3D is not clicked. So this is only a, um, a let's say, edit uh, function. So we can use it only by uh, when we have edit on. Um, as you can see here, we have taper top, age divide, v divide. So age divide and v divide, it just adds more divisions to uh, the cylinder. And taper top, as the um, the slider says, is a tapered top to a cylinder. So uh, I'm just gonna taper it like this a bit. And uh, when we're done, when we're um, satisfied with the result, I'm just gonna go to uh, this upper menu and click make polymesh 3d this will turn our cylinder into a polymesh uh, cylinder and now we can use it i'm gonna go back to our sphere which is named pm 3d or polymesh 3d i'm gonna click it and i'm just gonna append this cylinder so we're going to subtool we're going to append and we're gonna look for the cylinder here it is so uh, this is the tapered cylinder i'm just gonna click it and it adds directly to the scene I'm gonna go to the side and just drag it out like the previous cylinder, um, rotate it using shift 90 degrees and just scale it down. Uh, I'm gonna hit the subtract button like so and we have a hole that is now uh, a bit tapered. Uh, we can adjust the hole like so and we can adjust the um, depth also like so okay uh, now uh, that we have this hole here we can continue and making the rest of this droid so I'm gonna go to uh, the back view or the side view for now and I'm just gonna append a regular uh, regular cylinder so not the tapered one, and I'm just gonna rotate it 90 degrees, pull it back and just squish it down and scale it. So something like so. So this will be the back burner of the uh, little droid. I'm gonna scale it up a bit. And uh, next what I'll do is grab the tapered cylinder from before and just duplicate it like so. Then I'm gonna take that cylinder, drag it uh, behind and rotate it on the other side so 180 degrees scale it down and just add three of these so uh, we can uh, we can add the little uh, thrusters so like so you can duplicate go down And duplicate again and just go to the right adjust these so they are a bit centered like so okay now that we have uh, them adjusted we can uh, go and make the little holes inside so I'm just gonna take one uh, duplicate it and just uh, make it a bit smaller I'm just gonna make it a bit smaller like so and duplicate it uh, two more times so I can just put it everywhere where the thrusters are like so once we have them set up here we can start and um, subtracting from the thrusters so let's see which is which so this one is uh, this one uh, on top and the one below it is the one uh, that we can subtract so i'm just gonna click here and you can see we have it subtracted let's continue i'm gonna click the next one so here uh, this one is uh, basically the one that needs to be uh, activated the subtraction so um, the bigger uh, cylinder is the one below it so a couple of subtotals down uh, that means if I activate sub subtract on this one, it won't do anything. That's because of the boolean order. So basically, uh, the uh, uh, if a boolean is activated on one mesh, 
uh, that boolean operation only works on um, the subtools above it so if i activate subtraction on this one it will just work uh, it will subtract on the subtools above it so uh, just on the sphere and on these three cylinders so what i need to do is take uh, this cylinder and just crank it up top somewhere above um, this one uh, here so that will be this one and as you can see now it's subtracting like it should i'm just gonna do uh, the same to this one and as you can see this one also has the bigger cylinder below so if i activate subtract it won't do anything so just need to put it above um, the rest like so and now we have three thrusters here okay we're gonna continue and uh, ma uh, making this uh, droid so um, here somewhere uh, uh, let's say one third uh, the way of the droid we need to make these straight so uh, we can make this uh, with um, with booleans but we can also do it with uh, knife tool so knife tool where do we find it we can hold Control shift and on the upper left corner we can just click on the brush menu and here we have knife curve knife lasso and knife rectangle um, i'm gonna click on knife curve for now uh, they all do the same thing but in a uh, different form factor so i'm just gonna drag and there will be a straight line here um, that has a little shadow next to it so where the shadow is pointed, uh, in that direction, the knife uh, curve will cut. So everything pointing the direction of the shadow will be deleted and cut out. So let's try it. Uh, we can move uh, this curve by holding space and moving like so. So we can change its position and we can come to here like so and just cut this part out like so. Now it is flat and straight like so. Um, we can do it uh, on the other uh, side as well, but we have a problem now because um, uh, the shell is pointing upwards, it will delete the whole sphere. How do we uh, combat this? Basically, we can just drag from here, hold Alt, and it will be inversed. So uh, the inverse function will happen. Note, uh, the knife brush will only work if the two points of uh, the curve are outside the mesh. So uh, they must be outside in order for it uh, to work. Um, uh, something else you can do is also just control shift again and go from the other side. So uh, if we go in the opposite direction, the curve will um, drag itself from the other side side like so and now we have two um, knifed up surfaces um, how the knife tool works uh, uh, differently is also we can make a nice curve with let's say if i drag control uh, shift and uh, i'm gonna click alt once and it sets a point uh, and uh, with that point we can make a curve so we can make make curves and it will cut with those curves we can also make a uh, um, uh, normal uh, a right angle uh, basically let's just take the sphere and dynamesh it so i'm gonna go to geometry dynamesh and dynamesh it on a higher resolution so we have more polygons like so and i'm gonna just make uh, a curve here using Control shift double click alt double click alt and we have a, um, a right angle right here for finishing up we can uh, do some details to this um, little uh, droid ball um, we can again use the initialize panel so this time instead of uh, making a cylinder again and going to switch and all of that we can just go to the right side uh, here and click the cylinder 3d uh, option um, as long as it doesn't have pm 3d um, before its name we can use the initialize menu on it 
So I'm just gonna click here, switch the tool and go to the right side to initialize. I'm just gonna hit um, inner radius like so and add some subdivisions in age divide like so. When we're satisfied with this, we can go to make polymesh 3D and go back to our uh, cylinder, so uh, to our sphere. So here, we're gonna click it and just go to subtool, append, and go to the um, uh, to the inner uh, circle cylinder. So we can append it here. I can go and drag it uh, in front, rotate it 90 degrees using shift, and just I'm gonna place it here make it smaller and just activate the subtraction add a ring here we can duplicate it again bring it up rotate it 45 degrees or more maybe like so hit subtract and just lower it down so we can make a little um, indent in the top as well like so and like so okay i'm gonna do the same to the bottom so duplicate uh, rotate it uh, counter and just drag it on the bottom like so and we have some details we can also uh, let's say duplicate this uh, bring it upright so like this scale it up and make it a smaller ring so something like this and we can make an edge on this part I'm just gonna quick save and just uh, do this and we can start making a little ring around the droid bot, like so. Okay, once we are finished with uh, adding all of these details to this little droid bot, we can go and accept the boolean. So uh, this boolean modification is not accepted yet, that means that um, it's not um a finished model so the geometry is not placed so it's just a preview a live preview um to save uh this boolean trans tra transformation we'll go to um the right side menu in subtool and go to uh, boolean so here uh, here there is a button make boolean mesh this will uh take um uh, all of these uh, subtools combined here and make a, a single mesh um, the only exceptions are the hidden subtools. So uh, let's say if I hide one of these, it won't be in the final version. Okay, I'm just going to click make boolean mesh. The slider will appear. And practically nothing happens here. But um, on um, the upper tool menu, we have a new uh, tool that's called umesh. So umesh is a prefix to uh, every boolean um, every boolean operation or every uh, every boolean mesh so if you see a u mesh that means that this is the final model and if uh, we hit uh, shift f or line fill, line fill polyfill here we can see the geometry and as you can see it has all of its geometry replaced with the boolean geometry uh, now with this we can uh, still work on it, so I'm just going to turn off live boolean, go to uh, the brush menu and go, let's say, to um, the move brush, like so. We can turn on symmetry and we can hold alt and make little holes using the move brush, so something like this. We can uh, also, let's say, uh, on the move brush, um, control the focal shift. So I'm gonna bring it down to all the way to, let's say 60, minus 60. And when we do holes using Alt again, it uh, the holes are uh, sharper than before. 
we can also make uh, bigger holes in the back so like so and to at the top with this we have a finished uh, droid ball and I can render it uh, for further use.